Yo, what's poppin' fellas? It's your boy Tacho here, and I was legitimately just about to go to bed, and then all of a sudden we have this new trailer. So, New Heroes and Ascended Lake Jarn. Can't wait to see how this lovely woman is going to look, so let's just go ahead and check out this trailer here. Now, the leaks that we got from earlier are pretty much true at this point, so I'm expecting Radiant Dawn here. Okay, there we go, right out the gates. Starting off strong with Volk, my favorite assassin ever. All right, he is an infantry red dagger. It's Path of Radiance Volk, by the way, not actually Radiant Dawn, okay. Fireman's Hook, interesting. I I'm surprised they didn't give him Base Lard. Like, that's the last legendary dagger from the Tellius games that we haven't seen in the game yet. But anyways, Fireman's Hook, 14 Might and 2 Range, Accelerates Special Trigger. If unit initiates combat or is not adjacent to an ally, grants all stats up 5 to unit, neutralize penalties that inflict special cooldown charge minus X on unit, and grants unit special cooldown charge plus 1 per unit's attack during combat. And of course, Dagger 7, like all daggers. Okay, so what do we got here? All stats up 5, minus 1 special trigger, nullifies guard, and then he gets his own special ramping for his attacks. So, pretty solid weapon overall. <laughs> Again, though, I am a little disappointed they didn't just call it base lard. Lethality! Okay, finally. I was expecting that Volk might be the one to bring this skill into the game. So, of course, assassins have the one-hit KO lethality. Four hit special this time around. When special triggers, treats foes, defense, and res as if reduced by 75% during combat. I guess it would have been over the top to just make it an automatic kill. Disables non-special skills that reduce damage by X%. percent. Okay, so it nullifies damage reduction and it also has 75% defense and res reduction. I'm very certain that this is just going to be dagger exclusive. Because why wouldn't it be? So, I, I guess the res portion of that isn't really too important. Like, which dagger units actually care about res? Well, I, I guess there's Flora with her refine. Maybe a couple of other units. And there's also Sorcery Blade, I believe it's called, that can let you target res. Okay, so I guess why not? All right, also, Sturdy Impact, Null Follow-Up, and Times Pulse. So, very bread and butter kit there. Interesting that they gave him lethality instead of, um, well, I guess I did, like I said, I expected him to have lethality, but I also kind of was hoping that Volk would have stillness somewhere, which maybe if he's adjacent to an ally, it prevents the enemies from attacking him or something like that. I don't know if I'm too excited about this Volk. Like, I, I would have built him a little differently, and I also would have went with the Radiant Dawn Volk, but... Can't complain, Volk is finally in the game. Alright, next up we have Astrid over here. Straight up just looking like Ira, I guess. Well, maybe more like Lakche, I would say. Alright, Damiel Bow. 14 might, 2 range, and of course effective against flying. Grant speed up 3. If a rally assist skill is used by unit, Grant's target bonus doubler, and target can move 1 extra space. Wow. Okay, so they gave her a support weapon there. That turn only, it does not stack, and no effect on cavalry allies with a range of two. Okay, so just like um, Annette, she can't actually grant the plus one movement to ranged cavalry types, which makes a lot of sense. At the start of combat, if unit's HP is above or equal to 25%, grants attack and speed up six to unit during combat. Okay, seems like a pretty solid weapon overall. I mean, you're just going to run her like you run Annette. She might be a little better than Annette. I'm not really too sure. Because she also not only gives the plus one movement, but also bonus doubler. And then, <laughs> as you're granting bonus doubler, you're also granting stat bonuses from the rally, which is pretty nice. Combos pretty well there. Speed and defense bond four, and then attack and defense ruse three, which, again, is very similar to Annette. Yeah, I wonder, is she going to be better than Annette or not? Because, like, really, you just use Annette for rally traps. And it's kind of good that Annette doesn't overextend. 
All right, and last up, we have everybody's favorite Pegasus Knight here, Marcia. I swear to God, she better have the O Crackers line or I am going to riot. All right, she is a Lance Flyer, of course. Very adorable artwork, by the way. That is my O Crackers gal right there. I like that they gave her these pink-looking wings, too. Like, what's up with that? I don't remember her having that. And, wow, surprise, surprise, they actually made Marcia the demote unit. <laughs> I would have thought they'd do that to Astrid, but okay, sure. Unbound Lance Plus, if unit is not adjacent to an ally, inflicts attack and defense minus 5 on foe during combat, and neutralizes foe's bonuses to attack and defense. So it's basically just deck swabber the Lance once again. Or, I guess, um, flowing Lance... But instead of being seasonal locked, it's actually in the pool now. On a four-star demote, which is pretty nice. So we got Luna, Fury 3, Speed and Defense Gap. All right, pretty nice weapon to add to the pool, though. So there is good to come of her being a demote. Also, it's going to make her easier to plus 10. And this is the moment that we've all been waiting for. All right, please have some very voluptuous artwork, please. I don't ask for much, man. Okay, the baps are right in front. Okay, Flame Ascendant. Damn, she is... Oh, man, that is... She's a bow unit. Interesting. Okay. Didn't expect that. You know, I really like the ears that are on her head thingy. Because it, it kind of looks like an Anubis-style type of ears. So, that, are they playing her up like she's Egyptian or something? Because I'd be totally down with that, obviously. Big fan of Yu-Gi-Oh, of course. So, Cavalry, Bow, Colorless type, Lake Jarn. Alright, let's see if she's as good as Theorm was. So, Flame of Moose Spell, 14 Might and 2 Range, effective against Flying. Accelerates Special Trigger. If Bonus is active on Unit, grants Attack and Speed up 6. And also, all stats during combat equal to 50% of total bonuses on Unit and Foe. With a max of plus 12. Oh, man, that is dirty. Wow, so they, like, combined the original Leg Jarn's weapon with her refine <laughs> to give you that? that. That's nuts, man. And also, if total bonuses on unit and foe are greater than or equal to 10, neutralizes effects that prevent units' follow-ups. So she also gains null follow-up there, which is really good. Cavalry units, unless you have flow refresh, they can't do that. So, that's really nice that she has that. Okay, Moonbow, Swift Sparrow 3, AD Far Trace. Far Trace is very good, so that's another nice thing about her. Rouse Attack and Speed 4. Okay, level 4 Rouse skill. At the start of the turn, if unit is not adjacent to an ally, grants Attack and Speed up 6 and Null Panic to unit. Oh, man, that is... That's pretty good. Okay, so you no longer need Ashura to nullify panic and just completely stick with your bonuses and abuse bonus doubler and all of that that's really going to work out well for this this leg jarn here as well as a lot of other units too that really rely on bonus doubler <laughs> yeah man i'm gonna have to summon on this banner there's multiple units here that i want i'd like a copy of leg jarn of course Astrid for the support, and Volk just because he's one of my favorites. All right, here we see her using Kanto. Also her stats as well, I guess. So we got 40 HP. I'm going to do minus 6 to attack and speed because she has Rouse 4. So, what is that? 53 attack and then 41 speed. We got 30 defense and 18 res. Interesting, okay. Okay. And then we got the rest of the Moose Spell gang there. <laughs> I'm Volk. I solve problems. That's, I couldn't have said it better myself. Okay. And then here is <laughs> another thing. Well, another two things that were leaked. So Tanith is going to be a character as well. And Atree is going to be a character at some point. Looks like she's going to be a green tome unit. Can't really tell if she's a flyer there or if she's infantry or what. It does look like she's floating, so I would say probably a flyer. And the banner is going to be dropping on the 16th, which is in two days. And like I said, I will absolutely be summoning on this banner. 
Tellius, my favorite game, and some of my favorite characters on there. And then, of course, we got the big chested mama over there. We got a summon for her, too. Oh, we're going to get a Florette, too, right? The first time we summon Lake Jarn, so <laughs> that's going to be a good thing to go for. All right, Tanith is going to be a non focus three and four star that we've seen many times already, like with Benny and also Balthus, which it would have been nice for them to just be focused, but whatever. Guess we can't do much. And of course, the Florette for summoning Lake Jarn, which is definitely going to be worth going for. Yeah, so I'm sure Lake Jarn's probably going to have a super boon in attack and speed. So you, you can just... Yeah, look, they're, they're even showing it off, too. Yeah, because they, they want you to take double super boons with her when you use the florets. Not that you have to use florets on Ascended Heroes, but just the example there. And a Celestial Stone as well. <laughs> they really need to hurry up and add the florets to the Celestial Stone shop, which I'm sure they're going to do at some point. But I guess that's going to wrap us up for the video here. Let's just one more time take a quick look at Lake Jarn. So let me know in the comments section down below what you guys think of all of this. <laughs> the leaks definitely turned out to be true. So we pretty much know everything that's coming for the rest of November. A little bit of a disappointment there because I do like the surprise factor. <laughs> but in that same regard, it is also nice to know what's coming up. So that's all for tonight. This is your boy Tatro signing out. Thanks so much for watching the video, guys. And I will catch y'all again on the flip side.